There are many examples of why the late Stephen Sondheim is considered a giant of musical theater. One of them, A Little Night Music, is now on stage in Evanston. We've got your ticket. Here's entertainment reporter Vince Girasoli. American musical theater wouldn't be what it is today without the genius of the late composer and lyricist Stephen Sondheim. In the intimate setting of Theo Obique Theater, you can get an idea of the reason why in their production of A Little Night Music. The plot for A Little Night Music is adapted from an Ingmar Bergman film. Finally knowing the one that I wanted was wrong. It's a curious dance of mismatched lovers gathering for the weekend at a European country estate. Pin my hat on a nice piece of property. Sondheim's intricate and ironic lyrics especially create the production's rich and complex characters. We spoke with director Walter Stearns. Walter, we hear so much about the genius of Stephen Sondheim, but what is it that made him so special? For a lot of musical theater fans, he is the quintessential, the most revolutionary, the most important musical theater composer and lyricist of our generation. Um, Sondheim took um, musical theater and... Uh, created an art form out of it. What is it about his individual pieces that, that sort of surprises everybody every time they see the exact same show? They are a thinking person and feeling person's artwork. I thought that you'd want what I want, so me, my dear. Why is A Little Night Music a good example of his genius? He, he took this story about 1900s in Sweden. He wrote it in a waltz musical style. He found a form that complements the story perfectly. You have lovers and uh, they, uh, they are sort of in the wrong relationship and this beautiful musical waltz kind of takes them from the wrong relationship to the right relationship. And uh, that is part of the genius of this Sondheim musical. A Little Night Music is playing at Theo Ubique Theater in Evanston through July 14. Remember, two's got your ticket. I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.